you know what? We're going to throw it over to Owings Mills, Maryland, where Mike Garofolo and Sherry Burris are standing by. And that offense, I'm sure it's going to start looking real different with Todd Munkin, but it seems very loud there. Yes, it is. Well, they're, they're, they're not. Uh, well, we... They transferred from Owings Mills, and now they're yeah. being B&T. Oh, thank you for the correction. But yes. you know what? I need it. That's great. I know my home. Good leadership. Well, Colleen, actually, we're we're one of three teams actually for training camp at their stadium, so it's an exciting environment for the fans. They distributed about 50,000 tickets for today's practice, and there's a lot to look forward to. But Mike, as we get ready for a practice, about 25 minutes or so, there's still some questions that need to be answered for this Ravens team. Well, it's uh, the last time I was here for a back together weekend was a couple years ago. Lamar Jackson hit Rashad Bateman up the left sideline for a big pass, and the crowd went bananas. And we're saying, okay, now here comes this vertical passing threat vertical receiving threat in Bateman and this offense is going to look different. Well, this year, we're really talking about that because you add Odell Beckham to the mix. Mm -hmm. Zay Flowers, who offensive coordinator Todd Munkin called a great toy. Yeah, his to new be nickname able. is Joystick, according to Lamar, too. It did that. Exactly. So, you know, that's what we're looking for today. I mean, it's the first time to really get in front of the, uh, this number of fans. You talked about 50,000. We may have more fans here today than across the parking lot for the Yankees-Orioles game later today. Uh, but we want to see that today. And we want to see what Todd Munkin's offense is going to start to look like and Lamar Jackson having that control. They are really going to allow him to have that control both in the huddle and at the line of scrimmage. That's what I'm looking forward to today. No question I have is can we see Lamar get to that MVP caliber player again? I mean, thankfully, these last couple weeks, we've not been talking to him about contracts. We've not been talking to him about injuries. So much optimism as it is right now this time of year, but there is so much focus that it's Super Bowl truly here, or it's not even bust. That's just their focus, particularly with Lamar. Well, and that was the point of this uh, addition of Todd Munkin on the offensive side of the ball an offense that you really need to worry about a lot of folks say that that kind of offense that they were running under greg roman it's not going to win in the postseason well let's see what this offense will look like today we we know uh, defensively they're going to be tough and we know they're going to run the football though we haven't seen jk dobbins out here just yet dealing with an undisclosed injury I say undisclosed injury because J.K. Dobbins would like to be paid right now, so maybe it's his pocket that's really hurting him more than anything. <laughs> we'll have those conversations as we move on here uh, with J.K. Dobbins. But this is going to be a balanced team, but can it be an offense that you are going to fear? That is one of the things we're watching for today. And we do get to ask Lamar that. He'll be stopping by. So it's a hot day here. going to be a hot practice. So, Colleen, uh, we're going to send it back to you.